Yo, your boy b Low do it die Forever Entertainment. You know how we do it already. Grind TV. Yiddy! Fuck with your boy Floyd. You're now watching Urban Grind TV. Let's get it. Hi, my name is Ashley Armland, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. What's going on? It's T.L. Williams, and you are now watching Urban Grind TV. This your girl, Amani K versus Spaz, so Spaz versus Amani K, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. Yeah, this is King D's when you watching Urban Grind TV. What's up? This is Chanel Chu, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. This is King of the Trap, man. King of the Kitchen Bowl. King, you watching Urban Grind TV. What's up? It's the Queen of Rhythm and Trap, Dottie Stacks, and you are now watching Urban Grind TV. Let's get it! Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Away, and you are now tuned in to Urban Grind TV, you dig? Yo, it's your boy Ayo Hit Up, Mr. All oh, Yeah, y'all already know what it is, and you watching Urban Grind TV. What's going on, everybody? It's your man Rusty Blade here at Smokey Studios. And to the right of me, we got family here. We ain't really got to introduce them, but if they don't know you, introduce yourself, bro. It's your boy School, aka Mr. G.I. Joe. Let's get it. Mr. G.I. Joe in the building. Now, the last time I talked to you, you had just dropped Mercenaries, correct? Yes, sir. I uh, dropped Mercenary and uh, Welcome Home. Then you did the video shoot for Lala. Yeah, uh, La La was the first single I dropped off my uh, my first independent album called Welcome Home. It was released in, uh, what was that, uh, November 2018. So how have you been progressing with the music since you put them two EPs out? Well, the, the biggest thing was actually just staying in contact with my management team, building relationships. Um, it all started with a, a call, a, a, a call of hope maybe want to call it that and uh my manager he pretty much called jazzo uh jazzo the originator signed with rock nation uh king's county management to go on tour and this is back in like march and stuff like that so i didn't have nothing going on and stuff like that so i'm like yeah i do whatever and march march 31st crazy that's a crazy day because that's the same day that uh nipsey hustle you know rip and stuff like that but that's a, you know you know I actually ended up going, you know, going on tour with him and um, Eric B and Rakim, and from that day, everything just started moving like fast. Like everything started to move even faster than I expected, and I'm happy it did because if it didn't, we wouldn't be having this interview. Right? Because when you came in the beginning, everything was just starting to bubble at that time, and it's kind of ironic, like you say, to be standing here today, you were playing unreleased music back then, which happened to lead to getting a deal. Yes, sir. Um, I finally inked a deal with Sony, The Orchard, uh, October of this uh, 2019. Um, I got up with a few guys. My management team set up the meeting. At first, you know, he was kind of iffy about it, but once I played, I played two songs for him, and when I played those two songs, the only two songs I played for him, he, he liked them. He was like, hey, when you get back from Europe, I said in a couple, you know, in a week, he said, all right, when you get back, you know, I got something for you. I get back. Got the contract ready. Me and my manager, we talk about it. I send it to my lawyer. Everything look good, so I sign and eat the deal. Man, congratulations, bro. That's big news. Now let's talk about one of the songs that you played for him that you actually is the new single. Now, sexy, right? Yeah, sexy is the new single. Actually, I played that by accident. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 accident that that will work. Yeah, I played it. I played it by accident. I was thinking like, you know, he may not like this, but I didn't care. I just played it. So you know, he was like, hey man, play that again. 
I'm like, all right. So I played it again and stuff like that. And he's like, all right, let me hear the next joint. I play him another joint. He said, play that again. I said, okay. He said, all right, well, I tell you what, you know, hit me back when you get back and, you know, when you get back, you know, we'll work. And that's exactly what happened. You know, I got back from Europe. I went, got in the studio for like a couple days, touching up on everything and submitted the album and everything, the first album. And uh, yeah, we just, we just working right now. We're actually working on doing a tour right now. Okay, now let's talk about the new project, and the project is named Core. Now, if people don't know, this is a veteran right here. So, uh, man, I thank you for your service. You know, that combat veteran, let's get that right. And uh, that's why you have a, a lot to do with the titles of your songs. So, talk to me about Core. Uh, Core is really an album based on my upcoming. Um, Welcome Home was my military slash uh transition into civilianhood but core is based on like who who i really am like who i how i became school uh my childhood growing up in poverty you know uh going off to the military dealing with stuff and just you know dealing with old issues that i haven't even you know conquered yet you know what i'm saying so it was like certain things were bubbling up in me and i just started writing different material and it came out as core because it really it really it really defines like who I am inside deep inside outside the tough exterior outside the uh you know the, the glamour and the, you know the lifestyle and all that stuff like that so it really you know it's like that inner kid in me finally get to be honest and say you know shit I'm out you know what I'm saying like hey accept me for who I am if not oh well I don't give a shit that's facts now if anything what in your military background helps you with your music PTSD <laughs> I mean, hate to say it, but the, that that uh, that stigma of that mental health issue of P having PTSD that actually helps me because it motivates me. You know, it's like it's like you know how you had that that one family member or that one person that says you can't do something. You know, PTSD is that. It motivates me to be like, okay, I can do this. People always tell me, you know, not people, but certain people told me, oh, you got PTSD, you shouldn't be doing this, shouldn't be that, doing that. But my thing is, I'm gonna do what I want to do. You know, like, I mean, I just own it now. You know what I'm saying? I don't hide behind it. I wear it on my chest with no issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wear it. I don't care. You know, like, this is what God made me and this is who I am. Accept me for who I am. If not, oh well, I don't care. That's dope. Now, we were talking off the screen, and I want to bring that up because, like you said, it motivates you. But there was a guy out there. I don't know your name, fam, but you said my man would never get a deal, man. He got a deal. Know where you at though, but never say never and never give up on what you do. Now, what other visuals you have, and where can people find you to rock with the movement and your music? Um, on my website is www.sqootsme.com. It's scootsme.com. That's the website you can find my albums, mixtapes, videos. Uh, you can contact my team. You can also find me on Instagram at scooty1, S Q O O T Y 1. Twitter S Q O O T Y one, Facebook at Street Militia E N T dot com, and I mean that's it. Yeah, and I also heard like you got a lot of minutes man out here grinding. Like you, you finna try and get on the tour with Jazzo real soon coming up. Yes sir, yes sir. Actually, we got a show booked for the sixteenth of February in Chicago at the Astoria Lounge. I will be out there with Taco, Jazzo, and a couple of other fellas out there getting it in. So, and that's All Star Sunday too. So. Ain't no need to be sitting in the crib trying to watch the game. Come on out to City Alive. Rock with the fellas, man. We're going to have a ball there. It's your boy Rusty Blade. My man Scoot, Urban Grind TV. We out. Yeah, it's your boy Scoot. You are now watching Urban Grind TV. Holla at your boy. Let's get it. Hey, peace. I want to welcome you all back to Urban Grind TV. You know my name, celebrity interviewer. I said it, a poet. And man, I had a pleasure being here with a great artist, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're not familiar with this man right here, you're going to get familiar real quick. Go by the name of Taco, man. What's good, big bro? How you feeling, man? Peace, peace, so, God. So. Hey, man, I see you got your royalty on, man. You know, I was just, that's how I was feeling today, too. I see you yeah. on the same page. Yes, sir. Hey, man, first. Definitely want to talk about this interview. I'm um, talk about this um this new album that you got, yeah. and um what's the name of the album? And can you talk about it a little bit? Uh, it's it's uh, called Masterpiece. Pretty much, uh, just pretty much me me and my uh, homie GS from Chicago. He me and him came together. We was like we we gonna do a joint project, and we called it Masterpiece because we wanted to pretty much uh, paint pictures with our words. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's pretty much what it was. Uh, Masterpiece. Okay, no doubt. Yeah, man. So, um, where'd you come up with the, the album name, though? The title, like Masterpiece, that's so, you know, 
powerful, empowering, man. You know what I'm saying? Talk yeah. about that. You know, where'd you come with that title? Uh, the title was pretty much, like I said, we was just trying to paint paint pictures. So we, we had like a lot of story uh, songs in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, on the project. We had a lot of stuff we was talking about that you could actually visualize. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we came up with the, uh, with the title from. Okay, okay. So um, I've been hearing, you know, you know, the, 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 your name been really buzzing, you know what I'm saying, throughout the city, man. Yeah. And despite you just dropped this album, for some reason I've been seeing it like all over iTunes when I'm checking out some other people. Your your face keep popping up. Right. How, how did that happen? You know what I'm saying? Like you became like the face of iTunes. What's going on? Well, yeah, they, what they end up doing they uh, since uh, the day I dropped it, uh, it ended up doing like 75,000 streams and, and downloads. And so what they did was since no other artist in the industry or any other artist dropped on that certain day, since I had that, that many views, they end up putting me on the on the front cover of the of the iTunes uh, you know website. Hey man, that's dope. That's dope, man. You know, seventy five thousand. That's that's yeah. big. You know what I mean? And you just dropped that, yeah. man. You really making moves. Hey, I, and let me you know what I'm saying give you big ups to that last album. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What was it? Winter is hot. Hot winter. Hot winter. Yeah, yeah. Man, that that album was crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? They calling that one a classic, man. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, 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 it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Truth be told. Hey, tell us a little bit about how people can um, contact you. You know, if they want to collaborate you, collaborate with you in the future. Um, I mean, you can reach me through all my uh, social medias: uh, Facebook at Taco Music Official. My, it'll pop right up. Or you can follow me on Instagram at ats underscore tac underscore baby. Or you can, uh, or you can send me an email at ctony. 38 at gmail.com. Okay, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. Hey, tell me a little bit about what you do outside of work when you know you're not in the studio. Um, do you venture off and to do other things? Um, I mean, yeah, I do. I, uh, I actually work, I got my own security company, and so I have like four to five securities right now, uh, employees. And uh, that's pretty much what I do, man. I just, uh, I actually, I'm able to sit back now and, and uh, focus more on the music now that I have you know, other people working for me, you know what I'm saying, generating income for me, so. Okay, that's righteous, that's righteous, man. You know what I mean? And congrats on the company, you know what I mean? Thanks, hey, but i really been seeing you all over the internet because I peeped that you're going to be headlining with Jazzo, the legendary pioneer of hip-hop, Jazzo, man. Yes, and, man, that's really dope, man. You're going to be at the Astatorium. Is that correct? Or something like that? Astoria, I think. Astoria Lounge, yeah. It's going to be a dope event, you know what I'm saying? We got Jazzo. We got a wild style of crucial conflict. It's going to be a crazy event, so you definitely don't want to miss that event. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, man, definitely can't forget about, you know what I'm saying, hip-hop legend, wild style from Crucial Conflict. You already know what I'm talking about. Hey, man, I know you're really excited about that. You already got your the songs that you want to do, or are you still, you know, debating about what you want to perform that day? Um, I got a, I got a lot of music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm pretty much still figuring it out. But uh, we, once that, you know, it comes closer to the event, I have everything all figured out. So. Okay, okay. Hey, NBA All-Star Weekend, man. Yes, hey, man, is this something that you manifest? Did you imagine this? Like, did you visualize this coming? Like, you know, is this a surprise to you? How you feeling right now about this? This is really big, man. You know, NBA All-Star in Chicago for the first time since, like, 86, 87. Yeah. Talk about what that makes you feel like as an artist who's independent from Chicago. Man, it's going to be incredible, man. Uh, to be honest, uh, like like you said, Chicago haven't had an all-star game and God knows when, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be the energy. It's going to be a lot of people. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a cash cow city that you know that weekend. So it's going to be a crazy event. You definitely don't want to miss that. Yeah, man. Hey, and obviously, you know, we're talking about NBA All-Star Weekend. Are you a hooper yourself? And if you are, man, why you ain't? We need to get you in a celebrity NBA All-Star game. You know what I'm talking about? We need to get you in there. Uh... Yeah, I, I definitely hoop. Uh, I haven't hooped in, the, in a little while now, so I don't, I don't know how good I'm gonna be right now. But if I if I was able to play in the All Star game, the celebrity All Star game, I definitely uh, be polished right now. You know what I'm saying? Ready? So. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Hey, and man, for those you know, we know the albums on um, iTunes, correct? And uh, what's the you know best way for them to you know get at you again if they want to just you know maybe order the album or. You know, just maybe they have questions. Like, do you answer questions for fans or, you know, yeah. or anything like that? Yeah, of course. I, I, like I said, all you got to do is uh, hit me on my social media or my email or my Instagram. And, I, you know, I hit back. You know, I, I talk to everybody. I ain't one of those guys who, who get to a certain level and then just cut off everybody or just start acting funny. You know what I'm saying? So I, you can easily reach out, reach out to me and I'll, I'll reach back. OK, 
Hey, man, that's what's happening, man. And hey, definitely congratulations on everything that you're doing, man. Congratulations on headlining with Wild Style and, you know what I'm saying, Legendary Jazz, old man. That's really dope. And I wish you the best, man. And um, again, is there anything that you know maybe want to tell the audience that you have coming up that I maybe didn't ask you about? Uh, well, man, all I'm pretty much doing is uh, promoting this new album, Masterpiece. Y'all go on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Title, all the digital outlets. Type in Taco Masterpiece or Taco and GS Masterpiece and it pop right up and download that joint for me. Okay, that's what's up, man. Hey, y'all already know. Y'all need to support this man, Taco. You already know why, because I said it. And don't forget to subscribe to UrbanGrindTV.com. Peace out. I go by the name of Taco and you listen to Urban Grind Radio. Mexican restaurant and pizzeria, home of our famous handmade tortillas. Using the right amount of dough, we make you our famous tacos of asada, al pastor, and many more. Here we make you feel right at home. Also here at Aranda's Mexican restaurant, we offer you freshly made pizza with all of your favorite toppings, including sausage pepperoni and veggies for all of our veggie lovers. Wow, this looks delicious. Here at Andas Mexican Restaurant and Pizzeria, we can also host and cater your next party and event. Venga y compruébalo usted mismo en la 6706 Oeste de la Calle Belmont. Llámenos al 773-481-9050 y búsquenos en las redes sociales. Visítenos en arrandamexicanfood.com girl Samantha Moon and I would like you to go check out my new EP called Samantha Moon Wake Up Now on all social media platforms and don't forget check out my website at samanthamoonmusic.com Every time a nigga ride, ain't looking for nothing too real. 
I only want her a relation. She already know what it is. She not trying to build a foundation. When we together, we chill. She relieve all the frustration. That's my baby, that's my real. We not together, but she know she take her. And looking for nothing too real. I only want her a relation. She already know what it is. She not trying to build a foundation. When we together, we chill. She relieve all the frustration. That's my baby, that's my real. We not together, but she know she take her. Girl, my love be so real. It's something that you gotta feel. Baby, for you, I would kill. I even got you in my wheel. Shot in my ride at that. She not in it for the thrill. I'm talking bunny and clap. She with the shit in the field. Then you slugging like Serena. You a different type of diva. And your sex be off the meter. Girl, you colder than the freezer. And get more knowledge than a teacher. Got me coming through your speakers. Middle finger to the seat. I promise I would never leave. Ain't looking for nothing too real. I only want her a relation. She already know what it is. She not trying to be the foundation. When we together, we chill. She relieve all the frustration. That's my baby, that's my real. We not together, but she know she take her. Ain't looking for nothing too real. I only want her a relation. She already know what it is. She not trying to be the foundation. When we together, we chill. She relieve all the frustration. That's my baby, that's my real. We not together, but she know she take her. So you knowin' what it's time for We help polish up your diamonds so it shine more Not for nothing, sort of kinda stunt Now we out in London We the streets, run with locals, all the up and comers Say they grindin' like we grindin', tell them show the numbers Wanna chill amongst the stars, watch and see who comin' Smokey Studios say you gotta, gotta show us something 20 seasons still countin', gotta keep them pumpin' Dedicated, hottest topics, bro, you can't to stop it Been a platform for artists trying to touch the sky Send your videos and get exposed through the viewers' eyes Cable on, channel flicking through the 25 Four, three, two, one, now we going live Urban grind, your commitment and dedication This a thank you from all the artists, we appreciate it Urban grind radio, your boy P1, here we go Urban grind radio Yo, what up? We back, man. It's your boy P1 and my co host. We back. <laughs> I, so I think that was the best gift this year has given us. Bull the b- b- boy. Yeah. The gift that came Wapakin so good. America. Yeah. No, yeah. shout out. Man, shout out. No. And I'm excited to have this young lady come close out, you know what I'm saying? 2019 yes. with us. Tell the people who, I was who thinking you, that. Tell the people who you are, who we got, who we got. Who, what's that lovely voice we're hearing? What's up? My name Talia. Talia. How everybody feeling? Oh man, we good. Southside good. We got to Yes. Let it Chicago yeah. all day. Oh, you from the Southside? I mean, she yeah. cheese here though. Like, oh, I wow. saw that. You know we what? We just jumped right into I that. Saw oh, that. you know, like, we, we, like, we bringing that to the table in the forefront. Uh, cut. Okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we yeah, were going to cut that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. What was that about, Rusty? You just, just like you, you, you feeling good because your boy's been playing all right. Oh, you, no, you got a renewed I mean, sense of vigor because yeah, I mean, it was a few weeks you was walking yeah, in here with your head down. It was, oh, man, it was a little sad for a few weeks. It's bro. over, man. It's over. Right? No, it's over temporarily. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> you just got a little break. I hate losing things. You just don't know. <laughs> you know. That's all right. So we have a home girl, though. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, I'm Southside Chicago, though, but okay. if we do sports, basketball, Warriors, okay. don't shoot, and <laughs> football, cheese it. Okay, all right. So, so how did that come about? The cheese Yeah. Yeah. 
know. It came about like all my brothers and everybody, and then you know, watching them getting excited and all of that, yeah. the playoffs and all of that. I'm talking about playoffs, but you know, Super Bowl. Oh, shit like that, like okay. stuff like that. Right, I'm right. Sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah okay. you know. Okay, that's what's up. So what? So uh, what? What do you do to leave for the people that don't know you? What you, what you bring into the to the table? Man? I'm a dope rapper. A dope rapper. Yes. Mm-hmm. How dope are you? Extremely. Oh, extremely <laughs> dope. Okay. All right. What you What you got uh, out now? Like what? What's, what's your latest? Oh, um, my latest I just did. It's called Say Less. Okay. And that's just the latest because that's the last thing I gave to the public. So okay. Like, I'm still in the studio. Okay. So what's extremely dope about Say Less? Oh, the flow. The flow. The grind. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I was just digging a hole just to the beat. Just what? Oh, um, you gotta hear it. I will. I definitely will. Yes, what? 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 Um. What is your inspiration on it? Like, where do you find? Um. That you know your inspiration for your for your slow songs. Mm. The heat of the moment. Okay. Seriously, like um, the vibe, especially the beat. Like I don't know, but sometimes the beat be speaking to me. Like that was what I was. Like, you know as, what I mean? As a as a rapper, I don't if know. one raps to, is it? Beats that speak to you, or do you already have stuff written down and then you match it up with the beat? That's sometimes, but if I write it down, it's only like three bars. That's just to get a flow of what I want it to be, and then now I gotta vibe it out with the beat. That's where I'm coming from, so I give it that, and then I, you know, the rest is history. But yeah, it speaks to me. So as an artist, like it's so many, it's so many different parts of the rap game. Like, what is, what's your favorite aspect? Is it being in the studio? Is it writing? Is it performing? Is it, you know, doing shows? Is it meeting fans? Is it doing press? Like, it's so many. Yeah, but it's like of... prioritized. Okay. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I don't know. It's something about performing and writing. Because uh-huh. when I'm writing and then, like, I, like excited I get when I'm writing, like, oh, <laughs> you, know like, you gotta hear this Come in, come in, come in <laughs> face out somebody like Ooh, You yeah. know what I mean But then it's performing And then you get the reaction So then Putting those two out like, Recording okay. Performing But I love to perform Don't get me wrong okay. It's like 50-50 Okay But I What Lock myself in I'll do it I, That's exciting Yeah So who do you get Your tracks from? Now sometimes I get it off free YouTube sometimes. Now that I'm like building and I'm more of a brand for myself and I got my name out there, now I get like people sending me beats. Now I got people sending me samples and you know, so I take it from them. What's the wackest beat you ever got sent? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You ain't gotta say that. I ain't gonna say their name, but it was like, <laughs> it was trash. It was trash. I mean, I was just saying, just in case they said something to Urban Ground, I just want to make sure. I mean, we can talk about it. I don't got some trash. It's like, did you not listen to my music first before you wanted to work oh, with me? I got you. You I know, like, they, no. They just hit you with a different vibe. Some burn and burn. Um, no, that's not even my style. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> With their yeah, like, what is this? All right, <laughs> so it off. how would you describe your flow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's like you can feel my, I don't know. Because I listen to myself outside of trying to be myself listening to, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. So it's just like, like a passion, but like with some, you can feel like it's turn of time type, you know okay. what I mean? Turn up time, storytelling. Yeah, you know, like, I get in my vibes with the storytelling sometimes. Okay, but you want you want to turn up and then rock out. Yeah, then yeah. if I gotta end it, slow them down, cause everybody fainting and all that. You okay, know, I got something for that. So in Chicago, like, do you find one of my one of my biggest curiosities always about Chicago, like being from here? You know, we get the reputation as the city of hate. Oh, yeah. Like, has that been your experience in the Ooh. industry? Not with nobody, but like support-wise, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? It's just like 
you can't expect everybody to come from the same school, come from the same block, come from the same city, and then still be able to me out of all of us be able to follow my dreams and follow my goals and all that. So you don't get people taking you serious. You don't get family thinking. You taking life serious. You don't get the support. You don't get. It. So I just be like, oh, okay, but then it's good. my fans and they show me love. So how do you push through that? Keep my head up and keep going for the people that's going for me, rooting for me. Because when I look back, I'm like, oh, it's them, not them. You know what I mean? The ones you expect. So. All right. I, I want to know, how did you get started in rap? My big brother. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> he did it in his room, like the first, first computer. You <laughs> say the first, first computer. Yes, with a sock on a little thing, and uh. it's just a big sock. Like, you know, just still done. He just going all day. I'm like, okay, cool. I can do this. Okay. okay. So let's talk about your first project, No Room Forever. Like, how many tracks did you have on that project? Six. Uh, six tracks. Six. And what, what was that a specific number? No. It was just like when I came down to it and I put them all together, that made sense. It was just like flopping and right into each other. Mm-hmm. That's what I came up with. Like, I ain't want to overdo it and I ain't want to keep everybody attention too long, you know? Right. right. Just enough to come back, spin it back if they wanted to. Now, when you piece together an album, is it a specific way you listen to the tracks to set it up to have it flow? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Especially like if I'm writing it. If I know my last song was like this, and I'm like, oh, now I gotta come like this, like. Because when I listen to albums, I have a specific thought of what a last song should sound like, yes. or like mm-hmm. what a number seven would sound like, or how you would start a, a, a album off or mm-hmm. the intro. So that's why I asked that question when you sat down. You was like, I want to put this one here, here, or here, and then you did that yourself. Nobody yeah. else would set that up. So I'll be right dope. on my phone. I'll be like, oh, when I'm done, yeah. I already be having it. Like I can hear this after this, after this, yeah. yeah so how long did it take you to do the project? Mm, almost a year to be honest mm-hmm. and that's because I don't believe in rushing it I don't want to sound like who just you know none of that like I wanted it to be it I don't care how long it took but I kept pushing it like if I had a show this was coming up I'm pushing and pushing it and then it did good for me that's an OG move too because Wait everybody follows and, and I would hate to say this like the Lil Wayne method was to just put albums just out go. at the time but what people didn't realize, he had made it, so he was afforded to just push, push, mm-hmm. whatever. Vocals high, track in the background, and then we followed that trend and everybody started making free music. Do you know that rap music is the only genre of music that gives music away? Who? Cool. It's the only only genre of music that gives music away for free. Rock music. Like, country music don't do it, rock mm-hmm. music don't do it, mm-hmm. R&B don't do it. No other genre of music gives music away for free. Wow. I got some theories on that, but we can touch on that. Okay, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to put your record on the, you know what I'm saying, on the playlist, but we want to hear you spit yes. something real quick. Let's <laughs> give us a little taste live. Oh, yeah. you, you, you going to do that? It sound like a little preview, you know, to lead the listeners in to, to uh, the record that we're going to hear from you. Lead it into something I'm finna play now. Mm-hmm. Um, which record did you send it? I said, I don't know which one is going to be. I don't know what you said. Well, I We're said. We're going to get that taken care of. Alright. I'm a sign a deal. I'm a show my. I'm a leader. Ain't no coming back. My mama know that I'm a brand winner. I came a long way from the TV dinners. I pop me up, pop me a pill. Now I'm zooted and booted. I love me a what a pretty look. Pass me the ball. My pockets with grouse. You know what okay. I'm trying to yeah. try not to. I can feel the flow. Oh, 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 I can feel the flow. Sensor beep. <laughs> yes, I was doing my own boopers. Oh, well, we right. Yeah. My, my, my. So if the people want to hear more of that and stay in contact and, and, and ride ride the ride the wave and see what you got yes, going on, where, where we follow you at? You can follow me on IG at they love Talia, uh, T H U I underscore L U V underscore Talia T A L E I G H A on every platform Talia everything. 
Big Y'all heard the y'all heard Talia, man. Make sure y'all go check out, follow, yes, um, sir. stay in tune. We got some records here coming up, and we'll be back after this break. Urban Grand Radio, let's go. Mexican restaurant and pizzeria, home of our famous handmade tortillas. Using the right amount of dough, we make you our famous tacos of asada, al pastor, and many more. Here we make you feel right at home. Also here at Aranda's Mexican restaurant, we offer you freshly made pizza with all of your favorite toppings, including sausage pepperoni and veggies for all of our veggie lovers. Wow, this looks delicious. Here at Andas Mexican Restaurant and Pizzeria, we can also host and cater your next party and event. Venga y compruébalo usted mismo en la 6706 oeste de la calle Belmont. Llámenos al 773-481-9050 y búsquenos en las redes sociales. Visítenos en arrandamexicanfood.com. I stay down, for what they say and I stay down, for what they say and I stay down. 
your boy p1 urban grind radio we are back 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 that was the setup man uh, <laughs> urban grind uh radio man it's our holiday party so we just having fun man who we got with us man we got a guy that really loves to have fun and really loves to put on for the city man let the people know who you are man Hey, my name is Miguel Rivera, and my promotion name is Put the City On. Put the City On. Where you get that name from, man? Um, That's heavy. Like, like lately, we've been like our main thing right now is just to like push local artists. Okay. You know, and that's why I put like I put the name Put the City On. All right, now local. What is like? What's what's gonna be your local? Um, is it just Chicago? Like, um, is it actually? Um, you know, what I'm saying um, the cast from Cal City. Is it the cast from? Waukegan, you know, like what's the, local? Like the contests I'm doing now, they're coming from everywhere. Okay. I got I got kids coming from Green Bay, mm. literally like Green Bay. I got artists coming from Minnesota, Indianapolis, because we're giving away such good prizes right now. Like just for one instant, like um, I just did a contest to go on tour with Lil TJ. Okay, and I took two artists, paid for their rooms, paid for their travel, and. They opened up for Lil TJ where the shows were in Ohio, over 600 people. Okay. Indianapolis, over 600. And then we finally, we did the last one in, at the Forge at Joliet. Yeah. 1,100 people. Oh, wow. That's so nuts. that was like an experience for them. Like, And they didn't pay anything to get in the contest. Wow. Like it was, for them, it was free. Wow. And they got everything. Uh, see, let me, let, me, let me talk about that part because people don't realize how much of a grind it is when you're taking it on as yourself. Because like you say, they didn't pay for nothing. So you pay for travel, you pay yeah. for everything. Like, what keeps you motivated to do that part of the grind? Honestly, like, it's funny. Like, I had an artist that won and she was excited, you know, and I'm like, I'm as excited as you are because I'm taking you. Mm. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So it was just that experience of like, Everything I'm doing and they can win, I'm like, man, this is it's dope. Like, they get so excited and I'm helping them, you know, build their platform, you know, to hopefully one day, you know, make it. And so why do that with an unknown, like, like, okay, seeing that appreciation, I, I get that. Like, I can feel that. But then what, what's after that? Like, are these, are these artists that have... You know their infrastructure in place where they can take advantage of these opportunities or is this like a, a, a once in a lifetime kind of um no i think like honestly um let's just say like last year you guys all know el hitter right yeah he joined the contest of mine and he won it's going to east city tour okay and nobody knew who he was you know and then literally two weeks after that he dropped a single and the rest was history like mm. he was famous overnight mm. you know like okay. And that was dope. Like, you know, my judges picked the dude who just blew up, you know, like, y'all did a good job. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay. For everybody who said it was rigged, uh, maybe not. You know? <laughs> okay. All right. What's say? But I just like seeing them, like, win. Like, and I always have big contests. I'm, I'm about to give away $10,000. Like, you know? and, and they're performing for free. So it's like, I get it. You know, there's showcases you can go and, you know, win anything. And that's cool. I'm not, nothing against it. Right. But my showcase, you could do the same thing, but you can win something out of it. Wow. So. That's my job. Yeah. I think I need to get in this. Uh, I'm sitting here like, ooh, which. So where do I sign up, sir? <laughs> like, what's happening? We part of the radio team. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> <In the context. laughs> hey, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Will you take me back if I don't win? 
Let's just sign uh, my, uh, you know, documents on the way out. You know, <laughs> tearing up my contract for Christmas. <laughs> I promise to kick some back, now. But no, nah, so like, oh, what's man. the what's the genesis of it? Like, how did you how did you start that? Like, what, what you know what I'm saying? Like, what what, it, what inspires a man is to say, hey, you know what? I want to put new artists on. Well, Chicago's like it's really rough for the locals. You know, like like. Everybody's against each other in Chicago, like, you know, yeah, hey. you know, it's, it's really the city of hate. And when I thought about it, like, man, nobody's helping them, you know, like, there's, they have no direction or anything. And I was like, I could do something different, start these, like, free contest type thing where they don't have to pay to perform or anything right. like that, and really help them out. Okay. And lately it's been, like, it's been getting a nice buzz. I've been putting them on the radio. I got some artists going to Green Bay, which I'm paying for everything for them yeah. to go out there, room, all that included. We did the tour, um, giving away 10,000. I got a contest in a couple days where top six artists I'm flying out to Denver, and they're gonna open it for Lil Zay Osama. So top six, top six. Like who does that? Like they might do one. You know what I'm saying? You might get the Damn, one. I'm doing the top six. six. That's, this gives a lot of people an opportunity. Like that's legit, and that's what I was going to lead into about having to find a winner. Because you mentioned earlier, like people be like, "Oh, it's rigged." Like, is it because you know, obviously they don't get picked, or is it because you don't think that they're talented enough to get it? Because I know when you have so many people, it's hard to pick. Well, uh, for one, I never pick. <laughs> I don't even get myself involved in that. I have my judges. I let them do it. And um, I can't even be mad at them because every concert, it looks like they picked the right person. Like, everybody's like, like the last two that won right now, an artist named Talia. And then the second artist was uh, PBG Chemo. I don't know if you guys heard of him, but he was part of uh, Young Happy's crew. Okay. And he got millions of views and... He came and shut it down. So what? What do you think is the common thing between all the winners? Like, is there something that you can see and be like, every winner we've had has this kind of quality? Um, they turn it up though. Like, they just their stage presence. Like, they just turn the crowd up. Like, I had one artist come that was from Indiana once, okay. and he wanted to go on tour, a four city tour I had, and <coughs> no, he came with like one person. Mm. And he had everybody in the club just, you know, and that every, all the judges seen it like he came with one or two people, <laughs> and everybody's <laughs> going crazy right now, including yeah. them. Yeah, they were like, and I had friends of mine that were in the contest. I rigged it, you know, I rigged it. I rigged, I'm like, man, like, <laughs> say, buddy, you know, I don't even know this guy's from Indiana. <laughs> like, <laughs> he ain't got no friends. Yeah, like, he drove three hours to get here. Like, we ain't wow, <laughs> right? Yeah, well, he won. Like. Real cool cat too. To this day, I'm real cool. Okay. So, <laughs> so it's yeah. So it's all all married. Yeah. So what's your background at? Um, you know, that got you involved in, in, in this. I love the music concert. business, man. Okay. Like just even even just the content. You're concert. artist? No, definitely not. Okay. <laughs> definitely not. But um, as far as like the content, that's something we love to do. But I even do the bigger the bigger platforms. Like the I was the first promoter to bring um, a boogie with the hoodie out here. Oh. And we sold that out, 1,600 people. You know, um, I did a wedding wild show. A Boogie, uh, Snow the Product, Lil Bibby, P and B Rock, Cardi B. Like, that was dope. Okay. So we always doing, you know, stuff like that. We did the Lil TJ tour. Okay. So, and I'm about to do um, Lil Zay Osama tour. Okay. Official Hood Bible tour. And so, what other markets you touching? I know you mentioned Denver, Green Bay already. What um, other? I love the West Coast, man, because. Not to be a hater Dallas. or anything like that, but the fans, man, they they love like I could bring any Chicago artist out there and they go crazy. Like they could bring merch, everything. They're selling it. Yeah. They just like they just love you know they love the vibe. Okay. You know so so I love Denver. I love Cali. I love New Mexico, Phoenix, those markets. Like man, it's a lot of love. Okay. And everybody I brought there. <laughs> When I say I'm going there, they're like, man, can I go? Can I go? Can I go? <laughs> right, yeah. They know, like, man, they coming. They coming. They're going to support. That's that's right. Unfortunately, that's true. Like, when you get outside the city and people tell you, you got to get outside the city, you get more love. You go to Atlanta, you go to Indianapolis, you go to, because mainly, 
you know, our music is what's fueling the industry. Yeah. I don't care who you Definitely. are, they got a piece of our style, our slang, our lingo, everything, and we are too busy arguing amongst each other. Where uh, six nine a slide in, still this and slide on back out. Now he he spitting the same rap that you would hear Bibby or heard. You know what I'm saying? You're like man. They messing with Buddy, right. or this cat over here. They messing with it, but we the originators of it, and we can't break that that mold because yeah. we won't leave the city. Well, that's why we got to put the city on, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. To break that trying, trying. And then, like, so I mean, you already talked about some of the hate. So, but have you seen like? Some of that dwindled down with, with what you're doing with your platform because it seems like it's a platform based based to break that yeah. cycle. Yeah. Have you seen those barriers break down? Have there been collaborations between the artists that you know may not have happened or things like that that you've seen? Um, I could say as of right now, like the attention I've been getting, I've been getting a lot of promoters like trying to team up with me to do stuff. Okay. That's one like they're coming left and right now for me, and that's cool and all, but you know. As far as artists, um, I actually set up a couple artists to like, you know, talk, you know, and you know, mingle and stuff like that, and get their stuff together, do a song together, stuff like that. And I just been building relationships. Like El Hitter, good friend, you know. I stay, we communicate. Elvi the God, I don't know if you guys heard of him. I did his tour as well. Like, <laughs> I do his merchandise, all that stuff. He's real, real cool cat. He's he just did Rolling Loud. So you manage a couple artists? Not him. Okay. He's, but he's a good friend. Gotcha. But he just did Rolling Loud. He's he's next. Like he's he's Latin from Chicago. Gotcha. And he's got a nice buzz. Gotcha. We did a show in, at the Forge. We did over 700 people from just him. No other. You know, he was the headline. He's the headline. Like, yeah, he brings them out. <laughs> hey, hey, that like it. Who is yeah. one of your favorite artists to work with so far? <laughs> um, man, favorite artist. That's tough. There's, I would say a boogie. Like, A Boogie was, man, he was as humble as they come. And I had to pick him up from Milwaukee. And so we took like an hour and a half drive and just good people. <laughs> Real good people. So what, kind of, what shows you got coming up? What's next? Um, City, y'all. I got one coming up in a couple of days. Um, going to Denver. Okay. Uh, contest to go to Denver. Then we got the 10K giveaway January 9th. Memo 600, uh, we got him coming January 3rd. Okay. You know, same venue, Story Lounge in Chicago. I so you ain't wasting no time. So as soon as you get a ticket, it's yeah. time. <laughs> it's like, man, there's shows after shows. I haven't even announced, like, the Lil Zay Tour contest. That's January 17th. Okay. And that's going to be the top two artists. You know, they go on a 10 city tour, everything paid for. You don't got to worry about anything. I even, I, the last people I took, I even paid for their food on one trip, you know? Like, just because, like, I was like, hey, I'm worried about the RB sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> so you get RB five for five. <laughs> <laughs> they got the meats. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's what's up. That's what, so, how do, like, I would eat Arby's if I'm in a. I like Arby's. I don't, listen. Like, listen. Like, who what? Arby's? <laughs> See, the problem with you Arby's. Eat, oh, wait. wait. No, it is. You Nobody are Bears fans that eats Arby's. <laughs> Nobody eats Come on, the rusty. five for five. Like that's a whole nother menu. Everybody thinks Arby's five, five for five. five. That's the worst sandwich <laughs> in the world. Nobody eats that, bro. Okay. Like, baby, you go in there, it's a whole nother menu. So we going to oh, we going man. with you to Arby's or not? <laughs> you should bring Arby's for the for the crew. <laughs> That uh for the New Year party, we gonna have a New Year party. You bring an art. They bought Buffalo yeah. Wild Wings, so we can <laughs> thirty dollars. We all can eat. <laughs> Let me get six oh, five for five. <laughs> you drink enough liquor, I bet you eat that sandwich. <laughs> oh man, I can't even argue with that. So, I can't even argue with that. So Miguel, man, yeah. where can we sign up? Like I gotta go, you know, rip my contract up real quick. <laughs> and then where do I go find you online so I can sign up for your contest? Uh, PutTheCityOn.com. Okay. And honestly, like my number is everywhere, like everywhere on every flyer period. Oh, we can just call you. Yeah, you can just hit me up, man. Oh. Like I'm always open. Like artists always hit me up on personal, you know, like what can I do to do this or that. Uh -huh. And I'm always gonna help. Take like, that. Period. I'm always gonna help. If you got the grind and everything, you know, I'm gonna help you. 
Dang. And my number is 773-759-6632. Once again, it's 773-759-6632. Urban grind. There Urban it is. Grind, A birdie told me. Miguel been rocking with UDT back. Word. Like, this ain't no new cat sitting there. Word. Here. That's what I'm Man. Urban, Urban Grind shot on uh, the A Bucky show, actually. Dig that. They did. And they shot um, yeah, our um, our little, they, we had little yeah. Bibby, uh, Tink, Famous Dex, and King Louie at one show. Okay. They did that one, too. We're going to do more, yeah. man. Oh, We're going to do more. Definitely. I mean, it ain't over. Like, like these are, you know, the connections we like to have in the platforms, relationships, you know. I know, shout out to Wally, you know, and, and the squad. Continue to build relationships and, and bridge the gap because I think, you know, with, with what you said and what you described from for Put Your City On, you know what I mean? It's like I, we try to, we do the same thing here. You know what I mean? Yeah. We want to show the yeah. artists a lot of love, a lot of exposure. You know, I know, you know, we give free advice all the time. It's the same thing. Yeah, I don't definitely. necessarily give out my number to be like, hey, seven, seven. You know, yeah, that's so that's even, uh, right, like, like now like you inspire me. I'm like, uh, uh, call my Google number. But nah, no, that, nah, that's legit, bro. Like, 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 so salute to you. Salute to the platform. Thank you for rocking with us uh, for so long. And. Uh, the people drop your number for them one more time so they know how to get in contact you and, and the website. Uh, put the city on dot com. My phone number is 773-759-6632. If you're trying to get in any shows, just hit me with a text, say slots or anything. Again, it's 773-759-6632. That is, man. So, hey, <laughs> it's already flooded. Two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Low key. Heavy breathing. <laughs> like, he already said I sent two texts From every number I got Like how many slots you got You got a slot You got a slot You got a slot or No It's, it's legal in Denver I want to slide Right I need a slot You're right <laughs> Yeah it's we, bad I got that know. Arby's on deck <laughs> oh, man. Miguel man We appreciate you Urban Grind Radio We better get into some music We'll be right back <laughs>